This video tutorial demonstrates how to schedule, host, record, and post Zoom lectures in Canvas. This method is recommended for new users to Zoom and Canvas. These steps assume you have already enabled Zoom in Canvas. If you have not, please refer to the Enable Zoom in Canvas video tutorial found in the description below. To begin, log into the Canvas course you wish to schedule a Zoom meeting. Locate and click Zoom from the left course navigation pane. Near the top of the page are tabs for your upcoming and previous meetings, personal meeting room, and cloud recordings. Any Zoom meetings you schedule within Canvas from Zoom will be available for your students on their course navigation. They will also appear on the Canvas calendar. Click the blue Schedule a New Meeting button in the top right corner of the screen and fill out your meeting details accordingly. Once finished, click the Save button at the bottom of the page to save. You can then review your meeting details on the next page. By default, Canvas will send an email notification alerting students to the scheduled Zoom meeting as a new calendar event. If you wish, you can also copy and paste the URL or copy the invitation from the Meeting Details page to send an announcement or email to the students. Students are able to see their upcoming Zoom meetings by clicking the Zoom link in their course menu. To return to or view upcoming meetings, locate and click the Course Meetings link on the top of the page in blue. On the Upcoming Meeting page, you should now see your newly created Zoom meeting. Here, you can start the meeting or edit the existing Zoom meeting details by clicking the meeting name under the Topic column. This will take you back to the Meeting Details page where you can edit existing information including the name, description, time, date, or other Zoom meeting settings. Click the Start button to start the Zoom meeting. Once the meeting has begun, initiate a recording by clicking the Record icon on the lower Zoom toolbar then select Record to the Cloud. Continue. This meeting is being recorded. Hello, and welcome to the Introduction to JEDI training. My name is Kevin Prine Bully, and I will be your instructor for this semester's course. Once you are finished recording, click the Stop button on the lower Zoom toolbar, then click Yes. The recording has stopped. Once you have finished recording and your Zoom meeting, click the End button in the lower Zoom toolbar, then click End Meeting for All. Your Zoom cloud recording will then start processing in the background and will soon be available in your cloud recordings in the Zoom web portal or in the Zoom interface in Canvas. Cloud recordings can be accessed in Zoom, either from the web portal via My Reynolds or the course navigation link in Canvas. Let's look at the recordings found in Canvas. Back in the Zoom interface, click the Cloud Recordings tab at the top of the page to view your recordings. Then click your Zoom meeting under the Topic headings to open the recording. On the Recording Details page, click the video file to play back your recording. Hello, and welcome to Introduction to JEDI Training. My name is Kevin Prime Bully, and I will be your instructor for this semester's course. You can also download and share the video file. Clicking the Download button here will provide a prompt to download to your computer while clicking Share will provide additional share options including access to copy and paste the URL and passcode.
By default, all Zoom cloud recordings are password protected. To locate and share the password with your students, click and view the eyeball icon. Clicking will reveal the passcode. If you prefer to disable password protection for all Zoom cloud recordings, please consult the Password Protect Cloud Recording PDF tutorial found on our Zoom tutorial website under the Security and Privacy Settings tab. It is also linked in the video description below. Enabling Zoom in Canvas allows easy access of recording for both instructors and students. Please keep in mind that your recording will take time to process before it's ready to be viewed or downloaded. Unfortunately, there's no indicator to display when it is ready. If you click the recording and you get an error message, that means your recording is still processing. The convenience of scheduling and recording Zoom meetings in Canvas means once your Zoom meeting has concluded, your students will have immediate access to the recordings once they have been processed. Please note, as of January 2021, all Zoom cloud recordings in Canvas are no longer made available to students automatically. Instructors must manually publish to allow students to view. To do so, click the gray Publish button on the Cloud Recordings tab as seen here. A successful publish will turn the button blue. Students need only to navigate to the Zoom link in your course, then click on Cloud Recordings to view your cloud recordings. Some final points. Instructors should provide transcripts for all Zoom recordings. To turn on, navigate to the Zoom web portal via My Reynolds. Click the third Settings option. Then on the left side navigation, select Settings. At the top of the page, click on the Recording tab. Then scroll down locate and add a check mark to the audio transcript option found under advanced cloud recording settings. Now all of your cloud recordings will include an audio transcript. The last point to make is limiting the length of your recordings. For example, record your one hour lecture in segments between 10 and 20 minutes each. This is easily achieved by stopping and starting a new recording which creates a new video file for each segment. This important process allows students with limited or poor internet connection to stream your recordings. Also, students may find smaller segments more approachable and easier to consume while maintaining retention rates and maximizing engagement. And that's how to schedule, host, record, and post Zoom lectures in Canvas.